Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently I decided to update my Quantum Espresso tutorial and in this video I will uh, briefly tell you why I made this decision in 2019. So over uh, one one reason is that over the past uh, past year I gained a lot of experience and uh, and also improved myself a lot uh, in this um, in using Quantum Espresso because I have done several projects on, uh, compu on computing material material uh, material uh, properties using quantum espresso and I would like to share you guys this uh, experience and uh, and also one very important uh, aspect is that uh, when I when I posted the video, the tutorials in 2018, I didn't expect to get uh, get any feedback or any or anything from from you guys because I think that this is a very uh, small topic. It is not a hot topic. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't expect that there are there are so many people that pay attention to to it. Uh, but but over over this year, I see uh, many of you that uh, many of you very interested in the in the tutorial and uh, and you encourage me uh, in the uh, in the comments and you, you hit like and also um, subscribe to me and I also hear a lot of suggestions from you guys. That's uh, so. Th so this is. One of the most important reasons why I want to pick up this uh, subject and uh, and try to uh, polish the tutorials more, so that I can uh, help you guys more. Uh, another thing is that e even though this is 2019, I still don't see a very systematic tutorial on quantum espresso. Uh, th there is one tutorial that. Uh, that is quite good on the w window um, on the Windows version of Quantum Espresso. Uh, I quite like it. I I, I respect the work, uh, but on the other hand, I think it may also be necessary to uh, to learn how to use Quantum Espresso, how to compile it, how how to install it in Linux, uh, because the Windows version doesn't offer the full power. Or, or let's say doesn't offer the full options of Quantum Espresso, uh, so you cannot do anything that is complicated. And uh, another uh, point is that if you want to move in into the business of quantum chemistry, or you want to continue your uh, uh, continue your career in academics, then you you need to. Learn how to deal with supercomputers uh, if you want to calculate a big system, and uh, and supercomputers they only use Linux as far as I know. So uh, so you, so you need to learn how to how to use quantum espresso in Linux, um, and also how to compile it uh, to adapt to the needs of multi multiple core uh, parallel computing. And this is also what I will talk about in this tutorial. And also over the over the last year, I um, I gradually uh, f feel uh, gradually find out that it may also be necessary to include some uh, some slide uh, some slide slide presentation because uh, the the previous tutorial in in the pre previous tutorial I only. Uh, uh, Focus on the hand-on experience. I show you how to mm, how to run the program and how to do simulations. But uh, but I feel that there should be some uh, some slides that uh, that give you uh, an overall uh, overall view of the mm, of the program of the project and uh, of what what we are doing. So that's w that's what I will do here. Another thing is that. Um, I also notice that uh, subtitles are, are quite helpful, but it turns out that if I really want to devote some time uh, editing the subtitles, it usually uh, wears out my um, uh, my my ambition and my uh, my enthusiasm to uh, to continue the tutorial. 
so so that's why I will I will not do it but I think uh, th those different points on the slides will help you understand what I'm talking about and the, the structure of the tutorial I haven't decided yet but uh, but I would uh, prefer to have first a quick start guide uh, consisting of uh, some uh, a few videos let's say uh, less than 10 to 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 help you just just get start very quickly uh, I, I will I will tell you how to download how to install and how and I give you one hands-on example one the most simple example how to run the code and how to get the result so after that hopefully you can already start trying your own stuff and uh, and then I would uh, do do the tu tutorial in a project centered uh, way so basically for example I would uh, I would give you uh, one one tutorial on how to uh, how, how to calculate the band structure of let's say zinc oxide or silicon, and another tutorial could be uh, uh, how to calculate the uh, the structure of a molecule li like benzene. Yeah, what is the angle? What is the bond angle? What's the bond length? And uh, may maybe another tutorial would be how to simulate a chemical reaction. And uh, yeah, so so I think that th that will give you more experience how to uh, how to uh, use this uh, software and uh, and how to let's say do some project uh, that that uses and uh, uses some advanced uh, options in this uh, in this software. So I hope that you will enjoy. Uh, and hope to see you in the next video.